Glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters in Christ. Welcome. Just welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with you and the Lord. Praise the living God. So yes, I've been missing <laughs> for a few days. Guys, I've just been really busy, but I am back with a prophetic word from the Lord. Amen. What the Lord had shared with me just recently, people of God, he said, there has been a mantle change, a mantle change. And as a result of this, it is now time for some of you, okay, that are watching today to walk confidently toward your new mantle. Why? Because there is a bigger promotion for you and it is near. And the Lord says that you are prepared and you were meant to carry this new mantle. Set the spirit of the Lord. My God. Hallelujah. But before I share the rest of what the Lord is saying to some of you on today, you guys, you know my stance, right? It's your responsibility to test the spirit. Take this word back to God Almighty, not me, but back to God for questions, confirmation, or clarification. Amen. So brothers and sisters, this word comes from the inspiration of Holy Spirit. After one of my coaching sessions, during my meeting with this beautiful, beautiful woman of God, we learned together the mystery that she's been trying to solve of what God has been calling her to do in this season and future seasons of her life. She was trying to figure out what her purpose was right she had certain things but she didn't have everything and so together we came to the conclusion that she in fact inherited her mother's mantle okay her mother's mantle had been passed down to her my god and i just remember guys not only was i like super excited for her because she discovered what her purpose was for god's kingdom but i also knew that soon after we had spoken she would be receiving some additional revelation about this mantle her mother's mantle as well as the assignments that would come with it so that same night or maybe the next night after that i started to hear the phrase new mantles new mantles okay which then it encouraged me to go back to first kings chapter 19 because as many times as i've read about elijah and elisha i remember the story of the exchange of mantles and the spirit of the lord let me know that that was relevant to today's prophetic message many of you may already know of these two men of god right in first kings it talks about how the lord appeared to elisha and told him that elisha with an s would succeed him as a prophet right the bible also reveals that elijah had to go and find elisha to prepare him for this mantle transfer so if you have your bibles people of god come with me to first kings chapter 19 verses 19 through 21 i'm reading from the king james version okay and it says so he departed thence and found elisha the son of shapat who was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen before him and he with the 12th and elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him verse 20 and he left the oxen and ran after elijah and said let me i pray thee kiss my father and my mother and then i will follow thee and he said unto him go back again for what have i done thee verse 21 and he returned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slew them and boiled their flesh with the instruments of the oxen and gave unto the people and they did eat then he arose and went after elijah and ministered unto him so people of god in a nutshell we can clearly see in these verses that there was a direct call from god for elisha okay with an s to follow elijah into his purpose okay into god's plan into his calling the calling that god had placed upon his life and into his new territory as a prophet right but we also see in the scriptures that elisha with an s 
having to follow and be a servant to Elijah came at a cost. Why? Because he had to leave all that he knew to follow his calling. Brothers and sisters, I believe that the scriptures that we just read give reason and revelation to why many of you have been feeling this resistance and uncertainty during your transition into your new territory or your promised land because there has been a mantle exchange. Somebody says, well, Shanika, why do you say that? Remember in 1 Kings chapter 19, Elisha with an S had to make a hard and hurtful decision to leave his mother and father without saying goodbye. Can you imagine how tough this must have been for Elisha to do? And with that said, I believe that these are the types of decisions and circumstances that some of you may have had to make so that you could transition into where God is currently leading you to go. Guys, I can't help but to also think about the previous prophetic word that God gave us about two weeks ago and how I believe it confirms today's message. That video was titled, New Territory is supposed to be uncomfortable, but step out. In that word, we talked about the uncertainties in your life that were making you feel uncomfortable about your transitioning season, right? But then God's response to that in that word was that you still needed to step out in faith and proceed with transitioning into your new assignment, into your new territory, or into your promise, even if you didn't have all the details, even if it meant that you had to leave certain people or circumstances that you thought were important to you behind. First Kings chapter 19 confirms this in that receiving a new mantle from God will change many areas of your life. It will shift your lives in unpredictable ways, in unexpected ways. Why? Because at the mantle exchange, which happens spiritually first, like Elisha. You will have to receive your new mantle and then you're gonna have to learn how to walk in the new mantle, which includes you having to do what? You're gonna have to walk away from some old things, you're gonna have to walk away from some old people and you're gonna have to walk away from old places, right? A new mantle also means that you will have to embrace the new. You will have to embrace the unknown. You're going to have to embrace new people and unfamiliar territories, okay? The Lord says that this is the point and juncture of where a few of you are right now as I'm speaking to you. Some of you may already know who you are succeeding with this new mantle, and some of you may not have someone to physically cloak you or initiate an exchange of this new mantle. But either way, brothers and sisters, a few of you have been given a new mantle spiritually by God because you have been chosen by him to be, listen, the successor of someone or something. So with all that being said, people of God. This is what the Lord says. Listen carefully, okay? God says that while you are wearing this new mantle, like Elisha, he's going to begin with growing you in wisdom, growing you in stature, and giving you favor with him and other people over the next three to four months, July, August, September, October, okay? And then When this time is up, the Lord says, you will be ready for the higher promotion. You will be ready for the bigger promotion, which is to receive a double portion of the spirit and power of God from whom you are spiritually succeeding, says the spirit of the Lord. God says, position yourselves accordingly, beloved. Because even with this time frame that you will receive great things from the Lord, it will not come without opposition. There will be warfare. 
all right? There will be people and things trying to come against you, but your foundation will be strong and sturdy as long as you focus on the mission, as long as you receive the revelation of the Lord and apply it to your situation according to the will of God, as long as you stay focused on the promise, as long as you stay focused on the word of God that is in your heart, and as long as you focus on your relationship with him, says the spirit, of the Lord. God says you were meant to carry this new mantle and it is now time for you to walk towards it in anticipation that you will receive a bigger promotion, a higher promotion, an elevated promotion, a double portion, says the spirit of the Lord. My God, hallelujah. So brothers and sisters, it is my prayer that you will not allow yourselves to be distracted by the things that contradicts God's word in your life, but that you will stay focused on the Lord, okay, as he is presently promoting you and giving you a new mantle that is meant for you to carry in Jesus' name. I speak tremendous blessings over your life and I decree and declare that God will never leave you nor forsake you and that he will be with you for all the rest of your days. In Jesus' holy name, we are here on purpose to glorify God. In Jesus' holy name, brothers and sisters, I love you. I absolutely love you and I mean it. Okay, and I'm also praying for all of you because I know that many of you have picked up so many assignments and you're just busy, busy. I'm praying for your strength, okay? I'm praying for courage. I'm praying for tenacity. I'm praying for stamina for all of you to carry out all things that God is calling you to do in this season and future seasons of your life in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, I love you. I absolutely love you and I mean it, okay? And I want you all to have a blessed, blessed day. Okay, bye.